This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing Moraxella cateralis, which you can see right here. This scene will take place out in the desert near some cacti. Cactus sounds kind of like cateralis, so we've shown several cacti in the image to help you remember that this image is about Moraxella cateralis. Before we go any further, I'd like to point out the red sunset. As you hopefully know by now from our other videos, this means that Moraxella cateralis is a gram-negative organism. This is a gram stain of Moraxella. The stain is red or pink, which is why it's a gram-negative organism, and the bacteria are circular shaped. So Moraxella is a gram-negative coccus. Okay, continuing on, notice that we've added some flowers on top of the cacti. The flowers are used as a symbol for flora, and the fact that they're up high on top of the cacti should help you remember that Moraxella is part of the normal flora of the respiratory tract. Now notice that we've added some dusty mist to the scene. Mist is a cloud of tiny water droplets, so we've used it as a symbol to represent transmission through respiratory droplets. So Moraxella is transmitted through respiratory droplets. Now that we've discussed the background, notice that we've added a character to the scene. This first character is a policeman, as you can probably tell by his badge. Notice that he's also having a hard time breathing, so he's using his inhaler. Maybe this is because of all of the dusty mist floating around in the air. Anyways, just like in other images, we've included the inhaler here to help you remember that Moraxella is an aerobic organism. 